r slash ask reddit what instantly makes you really uncomfortable hearing my own voice and watching a video of myself i have been in multiple musicals and shows with the community theater in my town bought the dvd and never watched any of them ever i can't i completely understand actors who say they never watch their own movies that would be unbearable it's because we are way over critical to ourselves and cringe the entire time we watch ourselves because we feel that we're being weird or something is wrong with how we look or whatever even though nobody except you even have those thoughts in their mind. When the teacher slash professor says, let's go around the room and have everyone introduce themselves. Resting BPM goes from 75 to 150 real quick with that one. Oh also, let's make this interesting. Say something funny or unique about yourself. When someone is clearly angry around me and it could be because I might have done anything wrong. Even better, when someone is mad but won't tell you why and just keeps saying I'm fine but continues directing their anger at you anyway. I think it's uncomfortable when they do that in front of other people. Like if we're with friends, they're making the situation awkward for others. If it's between us, I don't find it uncomfortable. I just go off and do my own thing and I tell them I'll be here to talk about it once they stop acting childish. When my boss says I need to talk to you when you get a minute, comma, then he disappears for 3 hours. Then you're like should I leave or is he coming right back? Then you open his share outlook calendar and it has a private meeting you can't access and you're sure it's HR. When you're walking around a store looking for something and the security guard follows you. I actually had Walgreens page for customer assistance to my R one time after I'd been pacing back and forth for a while. Somebody must have been watching and getting suspicious of me but honestly, I'm just that indecisive sometimes. Edit. Update. Lots of folks commenting that they don't experience this because they're white. However, I am in fact a glasses wearing white male and was about 36 at the time. I'm quite non-threatening looking. Hum. Chips. Jalapeno. Ranch. You know what I don't even want chips. What's over here? Twinkies. ho hoss. Nor. I think chips are better. Screw this I'm going to McDonald's. Taking a dump. Feeling like there's more. But nothing comes out. So I sit waiting because my body doesn't feel ready to get up. When this happens. Stand up. Maybe move your legs a little. It can dislodge the extra. This person poops. Second hand embarrassment. I can't watch other people embarrass themselves on live TV sometimes even shows or movies. I automatically feel bad or embarrassed on their behalf. I can't watch cringe humor shows like The Office or Parks and Rec. I just get so cringed out I can't handle it and shut it off. I love The Office but can't binge watch it because I have to pause multiple times an episode to ease the cringe. Being the center of attention in basically any way, shape or form. Edit. Oh lord. The irony. My comment about not wanting attention got a bunch of attention and my first awards ever. Ego. Swelling. Can no longer. Fit head in. Regular baseball cap. Talking like. Hackneyed comic book character. And this is why I'm afraid to have a wedding colon. LOL. I just wrote this above but in case you don't see it don't have a wedding. Seriously. Do not. I'm a straight female. Married for 17 years. I shook so woo hard as I walked down the aisle. Not because I was nervous about marrying my husband but because people were staring at me. How I didn't puke is beyond me. Having to go to the bathroom right after someone else just went to the bathroom. And the seat is still warm. And they didn't flush. Having to see myself in a zoom call. Hi. I wrote a song of your comment. Here's the lyrics so you can sing along. This is honestly like really cool. Wet socks. My entire skin cringed after reading this. Some horrors really shouldn't be put into words. Man. Skin cringe. Mouth noises. Hearing people eat is terrible. But I feel like some of the more common mouth noises are less recognized. For example. Ever watched a YouTube video where you can hear the slapping tongue saliva noise every time someone pauses and reopens their mouth? Hell. One of my favorite podcast hosts uses a mic that picks up all those noises and I just want to buy her a different one that IDK if it needs to be more or less sensitive. But whichever one it is I'll pay a stupid amount of money for it. 
when people start to sing. I've dated a couple of choir girls and they all thought they were the best singers. It's awkward AF. I love when average people start to sing cause they're happy or really like the song but I hate those people that have like a slightly better voice and sing all the time because they think they sound real good. All songs. They don't feel the music. They just sing and it is ducking annoying. It feels plain and really infuriating to me. I'm better. So I'm going to sing a little louder than everyone else so you can appreciate the full measure of my talents. No. Blend or shut up. When people stare at me. I just stare back until they stop staring. And you find yourself unable to look away for a couple moments while making eye contact. Someone watching me type. I swear I make 1700 more typos when someone is watching. I feel like I instantly forget how to spell basic words the moment anyone is watching me. Out of nowhere sex scene in show movie. And your parents are sitting between you on the couch. Edit. I meant to say, you are sitting between your parents on the couch. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Between? When someone bites into a popsicle ice cream cone makes my teeth hurt and my butt cheeks clench just thinking about it. Hearing people's teeth scrape the fork or spoon makes my skin crawl. It's probably the worst noise I can imagine. I try not to make a thing out of it, but my family knows it gets me and they occasionally do it see if I'm paying attention. I am. Sex scenes in audiobooks. I'll just leave this here for you. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yautu. BXKLQA Litka. I cackled. When someone I don't know or who isn't a regular at the retail store I work at calls me by my name. I'm a cashier and yes I know I wear a name badge. Same though. I don't like that all these random people get to know my name without my permission. And I don't even know theirs. Walking into a really old person's house for the first time. Formerly did services calls. Most of the old folks were really nice. But, common issues. Improperly socialized. Aggressive dogs. Whose behavior is entirely brushed off by the owner. Oh don't worry Muffy won't bite despite clearly displaying aggressive behavior jugs of piss randomly around the apartment literally handing my app porn DVD to test the player I'd unjammed. Porn was also in it and on his TV stand. Carrying an elderly man down the stairs to get to his oxygen when he passed out. Fortunately he was a lot smaller than me and his wife grabbed his feet. A whole goose that wouldn't let me leave industrial setting hey by the way, when you go over there, don't walk under that thing that's dripping. That acid escorted back to the room I was doing work in by armed MPs because everybody else left. I wasn't done yet. I couldn't get back in the building and apparently asked the wrong guy to let me in the building with his badger. He liked my new job so much better. When I'm browsing in a shop and the assistant asks is there anything I can help you with today? Dot. Um no thanks. Okay well I'll be right over there if you need anything. Cool thanks bonus points if I have my headphones in and have to pull them out awkwardly because they've started talking to me with them in. Being that assistant is also awkward. I can just imagine. Shivers. When you're washing up and have an itch your face so you scratch it but now you can feel that awful little bit of water trickling up your arm. It makes me so uncomfortable and on a scale of I need to sort this out right now it would be a 10. When someone shouts anything when I'm in public. No matter if someone gets angry or if people are just having fun. I'm easily startled and try to get away from it as soon as possible. You are not alone. For me it also includes shrieking kids. Unfortunately. Like. I know they are kids and are still learning voice control. Etc. But it sets my teeth on edge every time. When people touch me for no reason. One of the fringe benefits of coronavirus is that not only am I around way less people WFH, but the people I do encounter are mostly afraid to touch or get too close to others. People being overly aggressive about politics or religion. Duck you, you'll burn in hell you heathen. When someone acts rude with no reason. When a guy regularly refers to women as females. It's just normally followed by a generic insult or mean assumption and them going oh but not you though you're one of the guys like gee thanks bro I feel so special definitely not gonna dodge your calls now for su year. Yeah I remember years ago I was walking my dog and a guy asked me if I had seen a female walk past maybe 10 minutes ago. I said a woman right? And he looked at me like I was from outer space. I thought maybe he had meant a dog. 
couples arguing in front of their guests. The entirety of the dinner party episode of The Office. Seeing people being aggressive on the road, not just bad driving, cutting off people on purpose, brake checking, racing, flipping off, getting out to have words at traffic lights. I've even seen a few physical fights between drivers where traffic was delayed and cops came to the scene. I do t even like watching the videos online with people road raging. It's so unsafe and so scary that they haphazardly put at risk the lives of everyone around them, just to settle the score, over an issue that could have been let go and forgotten a few miles down the road. When someone doesn't laugh at a clearly hilarious joke I make, it's their fault, not yours. What kind of people are they that wouldn't laugh? He turned into a pickle for God's sake. People I don't know standing way too close to me. When somebody asks so when are you going to start having children, dot, I used to get really awkward and not know what to say, now I just look them dead in the face and say oh I started trying to have children 5 years ago, but I've had 3 late term miscarriages since then, the doctors say there is nothing I can do, so now I just keep having sex and hoping I'll get there eventually, now who's feeling awkward huh? Friend of mine started getting harassed about having kids shortly after she got married. They were planning to start a family, but wanted to be financially set first. She vented to me once that she was tempted to start calling people up randomly in the evenings and happily exclaimed you'll be delighted to know we just got done trying to conceive our first child. Folks don't seem to realize asking about a person's hypothetical children is also asking about their sex life. Having a slightly large amount of shopping and people waiting behind me in the queue for the checkout. Or waiting for the machine to read your card and it takes forever and there's no smell talk and I don't know what to do except just stare at it. When someone says let's pray. No. No thank you. Even worse. When someone asks you to pray. Anyone complimenting me. Honestly I can live with the compliment but the white van and the chloroform just make it awkward. SMH. How else was I going to tell you that you had really nice skin if I wasn't going to wear it? SMH. People touching my hair. This one time, I was standing in a line and minding my own business. Then this woman behind me grabbed my hair near the roots and said, Wow, it's like chocolate cotton candy. I had no idea what to do. So I just stood there, frozen. Fist you. I used to have long hair almost to my knees and it's pretty curly so it goes into ringlets at the bottom. I'd have friends or people at school or just over. Friendly strangers just come up and try to do that movie salon clip thing of running their fingers through it but newsflash curly hair is almost always tangled because the curls overlap and they'd essentially just skull drag me backwards and get their fingers tangled in it. I'd be there untangling their hand like so I I I I it doesn't let go once it's grabbed you ha 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 thinking beach if you knew me well enough to touch my hair you would know that you shouldn't do that. It led to a game in school of how many things can we tangle into frog fin's hair before she notices. Usually it was just pencils and I'd laugh it off but come on man I don't want used pocket tissues and your dusty ass pencil shavings and there it took like 2 hours and a bunch of oils to brush through so I couldn't even fix it till I was home recut it to above my shoulders now so people feel more obligated to ask bc they'll pretty much be stroking my face. Also why easier to care for? People being mean to animals. Anybody who says something casually racist, nothing will make me walk away from a conversation faster than that, after having given the person a dirty look, because frankly I don't have the courage to speak up if that person is basically a stranger. Someone in a group setting saying something that is a lie, I'm torn between correcting it and not wanting to kill the vibe and make it a thing. When I'm talking on the phone and my own voice is fed back to me. Humans. It's disconcerting when people I barely know ask very personal, deeply probing questions. I once met a woman that asked me the manner in which I birthed my child within the first 5 minutes of sitting down with her. Pictures of myself, or videos, or voice recordings. Putting on tight pants while your legs are still wet. Hey, you wanna hear a joke? Said to me by a complete stranger. Happens every so often from employees of places I've gone who've made house calls, car repairmen, carpenters, movers, 
bartenders, tattoo artists, etc. It's almost always followed by a really uncomfortable racist sexist joke they tell me because they see a big, white, bearded dude and assume I'm just like them. I'm not. I have an appropriate one for you though. What do you call a tomcat in love? Dot, 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 Romeo, lol. Sex talk in general. I have always felt that this is a private matter and so never bring anything up. I attribute it to some bad experiences I had in junior high and high school so I never bring it up. People who talk with louder than normal voices in everyday situations. Abuse survivor and loud voices trigger me. Ran out a shoe store once because I couldn't handle the voice of the sales staff. Walking by a group of teenage girls at the mall. I'm a teenager girl and they also terrify me. Any amount of teenagers in a group is terrifying. When someone casually says something religious in conversation, like about praying or thanking God, I was raised Catholic and it brings back a lot of bad memories. When people ask if I have children, and I say no, awkward silence, then the person will say oh, there's still time and I say actually, I don't want children, and then there's an even bigger silence. Getting touched by strangers, yet yeah, duck off with that shit when it comes to physical affection with friends, family members or a significant other I live for that shit, but with some random person it just makes my skin crawl. Group think aka mob mentality, the majority of human tragedy is stemmed from the abject failure of emotionally driven crowds choosing not to think before they acted like rabid dogs. People who talk to me while I'm using the bathroom. When someone touches my wheelchair, seriously, it's not an armrest, if I want you to push me, I'll ask. People who have their toes protruding out of their sandals because it is not the right size for them, but I also hate feet lol. A wet fart. This seems like a card from Cards Against Humanity. Being around other people. Hands being sticky. Mask not covering the nose. PDA. A quick kiss or a hug is fine but do people really have to make out in public? Unannounced guests at my house. I don't care if your family or friends or the goddamn queen of England you let me know you're coming over at least 2 hours before so I can't rush clean everything. Damn it. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.